Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. One thing Blackpool is famous for is bed and breakfast. And today we're checking out one of the best rated B&Bs in this resort. If you're new to the channel, we share walking tours, travel vlogs and hotel reviews from Spain, Ireland and the UK. Be sure to press the thumbs up button, click subscribe and leave a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It's free to do and really does help us out. Lee and Chris's Belvedere is rated 3rd out of 91 guest houses in Blackpool, placing it in the Traveller's Choice category. It's adults only and in a perfect location. The accommodation we've booked is based in the North Shore area of Blackpool and a short walk from Blackpool Tower. We're currently walking on Dixon Road. We started our walk outside the popular cabaret show bar Funny Guards and just down from Blackpool North train station. We did read that the hotel used to be a part of the gay scene in Blackpool back in the 90s. So if you have any memories, share them in the comments section below. We love reading your comments. You're actually so close to bars, attractions and Blackpool's LGBT plus scene. If you do want to know more about the LGBT hotels and bars, check out the Chatter Guys YouTube channel. We'll post the link to their channel in the comments section. So we're staying at Lee and Chris's Belvedere. They're a husband and husband team that's owned the property since December 2020. They also own sister hotel Rendezvous Bar and Rooms on Lord Street, right in the heart of Blackpool's LGBT plus scene. The bar is open to guests as well as the public, Thursday to Sunday, with entertainment and quizzes. Check the website for more information about what's happening. We're so close to the North Pier and North Promenade. I should just say this video isn't sponsored, but if you're interested in featuring your business in our YouTube videos, we'll post our email address in the video description below. Peekaboo's another cabaret and LGBT venue. They do serve food as well. You can get two Sunday roasts for £12, and it's meant to be fantastic. So get yourself to Peekaboo's if you fancy a bit of crack with your Sunday meat and tea veg. The front yard is well kept and tidy. It does catch the sun during the day giving the area a Mediterranean feel. Moving into the B&B, some books to read from LGBT authors. Paul O'Grady there, must have a read of that. To the left is the breakfast area. You've got notices in reception about offers and discounts in different local LGBT bars. A mirror so you can check yourself out. And breakfast is served from 9 till 10. But the breakfast room is open from 8.50. There's also extra teas and coffees if we need any during our stay. Some old pictures of Blackpool from around the time when the property was built. 
Let's check out the room and we'll show you breakfast in the morning. Unfortunately, the bed and breakfast doesn't have disabled access or lifts. It is understandable since the property is a three-story Victorian townhouse. We're staying in room 7, which is on the top floor and a premium double ensuite room. In total, there are 8 rooms in this B&B, 7 of which are ensuite and 1 with a separate private bathroom. Hair dryer, teas, coffees, hot chocolate and biscuits. And because this is a premium room, we do get a coffee machine and fridge. We do get a fan as well, which is great, because these old British Victorian properties were designed to keep the heat in. The welcome manual has all the information about breakfast times, Wi-Fi codes, we did book via booking.com, but you can get a bit of a better rate by booking directly with the property. We'll post links to the bed and breakfast trip advisor and website in the comments section below. The owners have even recommended some restaurants in Blackpool. Not much of a view, but I guess that's to be expected. But I can see blue skies, which in the UK is a blessing and a rarity. Two bathrooms. There's plenty of USB sockets and charging points around the room, which for us is a big thing. Let's check out the bathroom, and by Blackpool standards, this is a pretty large bathroom. Full size electric shower. We also get complimentary shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Toothbrush and toothpaste in case we had forgotten anything. smart TV with Netflix, Amazon Prime and YouTube to watch your favourite vloggers. If you do need an iron during your stay, one is provided on one of the landings. Good morning, we slept amazingly. The beds were really comfortable and a good size and there was very little noise from the road outside which is good. We're definitely ready for breakfast. The B&B does request you pre-order quick breakfast the night before and leave your order in the post box in the hallway. You can also make any special requests as well. The breakfast room is bright and the windows allow the morning sun to burst into the room. There's a choice of white and homemade bread, cereals, teas and coffees as well as preserves and spreads. For the cake breakfast, I pre-ordered mushrooms, hash brown, a fried egg, sausage and a slice of bacon. The mushrooms were meaty and flavourful. The hash brown was crispy on the outside and soft inside. The fried egg was cooked perfectly, with a runny yolk just the way I like it. The sausages taste fresh and seem locally sourced. And the bacon was crispy and delicious. My partner opted for beans instead of mushrooms and was equally satisfied. The breakfast was beautifully presented and served piping hot. Overall, it was a fantastic start to our day. For two nights at the weekend, mid-May, we paid £147 a bed and breakfast. And that included an upgrade to the premium room. That's a bargain for just over £36 per person per night and we'll definitely be back on our next visit to Blackpool.